Alright, I'm going to transform this trailer here. The wheels are 50 50. I don't know who did it. it. Has one fender, the other one is missing. So we're going to tear this one down. The gate looks good. That's about it, and the deck. The floor is a real good one. So we'll go ahead and cut all these wires that they get holding the board up move the axle okay yeah and we'll be leaving the toolbox all right all right excuse the noise i don't know what they were going for here but the owner he ran me through what the um thing was going on here so. okay my buddy was telling me a little bit about this trailer it was home built in georgia wasn't very well as you can see i don't know what they were going for here it's a lot of structure he said it, it that center pipe he cut four feet off of it and put on the new um hitch right here the welding wasn't complete as you can see the bottom on both ends are like that of that pipe this was set center. The axle is real, real nice. It's a 3,500 pound axle. No protection on the wiring. And all these screws, I hate penetrating the uh, steel. It just weakens it. But he did that to put on a new board because the old one was bad. So I'll be trying to get all the wells in these spots and the top or well, the bottoms where I guess they didn't think anybody would look the fender will be leaving I'll cut that out I just need to cut these wells and you can see they had problems with the axle see how they cut that for the axle to fit because the axle shouldn't be there but I'll go ahead and start cutting all right, what I got, took the axle off, had to cut it. The welds are pretty good. He had a weld in the center, so I just used an angle grinder and cut the ends off. That's it right there. It was just angle iron that he used to make these. If you look at it real good, it's welded going across. So I cut all four off because the axle needs to move back to this line which is 12 inches from where it was to be that 60 40 split i'm going to leave everything here he didn't mind what that was but this he doesn't want so this little thing is heavy extremely heavy this is going to be changing out that piece right there the lights will stay i'm going to have to try to in case the um, wiring somehow he doesn't really care but i just don't like the seat and let's see what else we can do yeah the gate stays the same i had to buy all new hardware the u-bolts the nuts um i have to get the bearing but i'm going to take out this bearing first to find out exactly which one it's a 3500 um, pound axle these I got the um, bushing to replace these uh, the one in the back look pretty decent but it's got new ones to be replaced anyway so I'll go ahead and weld this thing up but see that weld and then come around it's nothing at all so I'll go ahead and start working on this again. All right, this is um, where I change up when I use this on a normal situation. I'm welding it on just like that. But this, with all what's going on, I'm gonna have to put it that way and bring the um, spring into it here. I've done it that way before. It works good. I personally prefer the other way 
I wish they didn't cut this so that I can actually have it mounted real good. But I, I fill in the holes here, here, and I still go all the way around the back and the sides. And that'll hold it sturdy. And the other one, I'll do the same thing on the back. It'll probably line up somewhere in this area here. But I always put one side in first and then do it. Don't forget, clean your surface. That's how you get the best welds. If it's dirty, it's, it, it makes it look bad. It holds, but it looks bad. This, I have to break it off. It's, okay, it's just a little tack on two of them because I have the new fender. I'll go ahead and do that on both sides. The, it doesn't have a fender on that side, but weld will be the same thing, measuring off the front area. All right, I welded it up. I'm gonna get some paint, black paint. That's just a red tip on that. But I'll be painting this um, black just to keep the rust off of it. I got all corners of it. So I'll do both sides that, clean it up and then paint. All right, I got these on painted. This is an old bolt. I have to change that one out. And then these, I'm using the same ones. Nothing wrong with them. Um, this bolt is a long one. The ones I got were too short. So I couldn't um, get them on. These are the new ones. So the long ones, that uh, shackle right here should be on the outside. That's why. It's just there on both sides, but everything is in. In need to put in the axle so I can figure out where the fenders go. And then I'm going to try to get anything I can get while it's on this side closed in like this. It's actually an ant that's in there. All the ants are right around there. So I'll go ahead and do anything I can from this side like there where it's not welded um, the other side over there so I'll go ahead and do all this okay I got the axle on just for me to bolt it up that's the new u-bolts right here I have to paint everything over anyway but that'll hold everything in line where I need it to be so just going to tighten this up so then I can swing the whole thing like I need it. Right. Here's the other thing here. See how this is no play. Spins real nice and free. The other side, I was just checking it. I have to redo. No play. It is tight. So, feels like sand is in it. Just it. That's it. All right. So that's something I have to take apart and fix. Everything else is looking good so far. Got my choice of um, stuff here. The fender, little small. He left on the 14 or 13 inch wheels, and that's all I'm doing. I shifted everything like in the last video. This is about a month later, but all I can do, oh, the other side is done, so I'll show you that side. All right, that's what it looks like. It's solid. I got two spots on the top. That rod go down there, and that rod go down there. So, and it's a 3,500 pound axle. Oh, that's it for this one here. It's leaving now. Okay, all done. Took it for a spin. Drove way better than it used to. Got the gate back on. I had to weld these latches on. He had a latch coming from here in like a 45 degree angle to this point. Cut them off and put those on both ends. And the gate, I had to re-weld the hinges on it. So everything is done with this one. I took it 
Um, this is the only thing I have to tell. This was not designed to be here because of this right here. So it keeps falling down. It's high enough to not bother anything when you jack it all the way up. But that's it. Thanks for watching.